Welcome to Savvy Serena. Today I am, we're doing another video in the series to clutter your home and today I am working underneath my kitchen sink. This is a problem area for me. Probably for a lot of people you end up buying too much cleaning supplies and then you don't, you have so much you don't know what you have. So that's what I need to do is I need to pull this all out, see what I've got consolidate or get rid of things that I'm not going to use. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you me because it's so dark in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I'm going to have to pull things out and then maybe put them back. But let's tackle all these cleaning supplies. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we'll get going on this. So I pulled everything out and I've got a, an array of things in there, not any duplicates that I'm seeing. And this is one of the trays that I had underneath my sink. Uh, that needs to be cleaned. So I'm going to clean that. Okay, so now we're going to go over because I have more cleaning supplies here. And this is probably stuff I use more often. That's probably why it's there. But I need to get all this out. Well, I got that all cleaned out. Um, that is my bread maker or whatever. So, I'm going to leave that there. There's nothing behind it. But I've got that all cleared out. So, this is what I had in my cabinet so far. I don't think I have any more cleaning supplies. It got so much, I had to pull them out on the stove. I have a couple of empty bottles here that I can throw away. We all do this. We end up keeping things that we use up. Maybe so we'll remember that it's out. You know, I don't have much of this left. My Oda Band's almost out. You know, my main green bottles, I do keep these because I have the gallon that I refill my main green bottles up with. So I do keep, which I can use regular spray bottles because I have a couple of those. But I need to utilize this a little bit better so let me start by cleaning this first oh and also i had a couple of storage containers as well i guess to store products in i might end up utilizing these i don't know we'll see we'll just hold on to them so let me clean this first way cleaner than what i had it before so now we're going to fill it up So I went through my caddy, or I went through my cleaning supplies and decided what I would use the most. This is going to be the front of it, which will go into my cabinet this way. So this will be the front. These are the things that I use the most. The window cleaner, the mean green, the stuff I put on the carpet when I'm vacuuming, baking soda just in case I need that. This stuff back here, I don't use as often. The gloves, I use those for messy jobs. And the squeegee, I don't use as much, but I like having it there. I really don't have anything else to put in this part. So I done cleaned out all the stuff that I'm not using, thrown it away, whatever, and kept what I am going to use. And that's going to slide right up in my cabinet. take very long at all so now when I need something it'll be a little bit easier everything I normally use is in the front and then a the few things that I use in the back and I also put my little alcohol spray bottle here I have the refill right there I don't know if you can see that or not but so I can refill this little sprayer I just use um <clears throat> the 91 percent rubbing alcohol to clean my whiteboard and i put it in that spray bottle it's great for bug bites and stuff too that'll work 
And then on the door, I had one of these little things I bought. And they had these little um, things where you attach it. Uh, with, like suction cups. But the suction cups didn't work. So I took them off. You could have used command hooks and hang this up here. And now I have my quick erasers or whatever you call them from Dollar Tree. Um, and then my stainless steel scrub buddy. I cut these in half to make it a little bit more cost efficient so you can see I've cut one which actually that needs to go up here and then I have sponges because those what I use instead of sponges now I use my brush to wash dishes with these are used to clean my glass top stove and then I have a few little I don't use these often at all because they rust. I don't like them. I prefer this. But occasionally I need them. And these are great. You know, so I, I buy them at Dollar General. I think they're as Brillo pads. I think it's a brand name. But I just took them out of the box, put everything in here. So when I need to grab it, it's easy to access. And when I'm running low, I'll know when I'm running low on. And I can buy them. It's not a big deal. So that looks a heck of a lot better. Now we're going to go on the bottom. I have no idea what's down here. I've got this, which is what I clean my floors and stuff with. And this is the only other thing that I have with cleaning supplies in it. Oh, this is extra stuff that I have bought. Um during clearances or whatever and that's this is where the overflow goes to extra stuff so I have like some extra works for the shower this is what I was using when I was cleaning houses um, I don't clean houses anymore that's why I had the caddy was because I used to clean houses. I don't do that anymore. That's why it stores my cleaning supply. I don't really use it. Uh, but this is when I was using that. I still have a little bit left. I mean, I could use it in my bathroom. These I just recently bought. This is just needs to be organized. So hold on a minute. It looks a whole lot better. Um, I went to a Dollar General sale and I got some things on clearance. I ended up getting these. I actually got two, three, like five bottles of dish soap for like 80 cents a piece. And they're bigger than like, they weren't even a dollar eighty. It's like 70% off of the dollar eighty, however much that is. But anyway, I bought a bunch of these because you always need dish soap. So I went and bought a couple of these and I bought two or three of those also um, these I got at Ollie's for like 79 cents if you don't have an Ollie's you really need to go check them out um, I found these and they're smaller mean green bottle but I'm not seeing the orange anymore even at Dollar General so they may around here may have quit selling it I only paid 79 cent for the my husband's like yeah as much as we use main green we're gonna pick it up and then dollar general will put theirs on clearance and i got these for 70 percent off and i'll if you don't like the regular main green the orange main green does smell a whole lot better um i bought a couple of lime aways uh mainly for my stepdaughter i don't use them but she does. She has a real bad rust issue. And when she came down, I forgot to give her these to help her clean her um, rust in her bathroom and toilet and all of that. And then I bought these on clearance as well to just disinfectant wipes I use in the bathroom. So this is like my overflow of extra stuff that I bought on clearance or have multiples of. Because I can reuse these bottles and take the gallon that I showed you and just refill these back up. So that's what this container is. If I have doubles, you know, where I bought extra, that's where it goes. A couple of extra spray bottles. I always keep spray bottles on hand just for whatever I might need to mix up. 
and I'm gonna stick them down there with the extra supplies. I gotta give you a little bit of a tip. You can see I had something written on here and it's done kind of come off with time. If you want to clean your spray bottles to relabel them to put something else in them, take some of that 91 or a high, like 80% or higher alcohol, put it in a little spray bottle. Okay, that's it for today. If you like today's video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because I got more coming in the kitchen for my decluttering series. Y'all come back now. Y'all here?